Epcot. Happy Friday, everybody. We are excited. We are at Epcot. We are ready for some fun this Friday and it's evening. Diet Epcot. Yes. No festival at the moment. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Can barely make it through the parking lot and just gotta get back in. You got your grumpy? It might be Diet Epcot, but they have not taken away the family magic all just yet. I don't know if you've ever walked into Epcot by yourself, you big kid. There's like 20 minutes of rain coming. Really? Yeah, we gotta figure out okay, what let's to do. go. Let's maybe Nemo? Nemo probably is the best bet. Look at this kid, he's like hundred years old. You got happy feet? Are you ready? Fish are like the size of you. We ventured on over to the big aquarium. We saw hammerhead shark. What else we see? A black nose shark. Dolphins. Is that a Another sign of the festival over. They did show on the internet food and wine merchandise today. How can you even tell me this before the second? I, like I don't know. Can we go into that pavilion? Is it good? Yeah. And no more goofy. Our kids love the goofy. But we still have the, like, the 50th statues that are sticking around for yeah. a while. And food and wine starts this month. Like There will be something here before we know it. It's just fun to see. Ooh, look at this bird. Hello, bird. Goodbye, bird. Gotta say hello to our trolley friend. High five. Give him a high five. <laughs> toast. Should I smell his stinky toast? <laughs> oh, stinky! Stinky! We've always been fans of the Norway collection, but this bag is so nice. It's got like a nice flat bottom, and it's $35. It's so nice. It's like a canvasy material. I haven't seen that at any other pavilion. Ooh, that's a nice blanket. This is a nice. Slide. Oh, wait! Where have I seen that before? Oh, you're calling it. My, ele my elephant has moved somewhere else. Maybe too many people were right in it. <laughs> we're just talking about how you know, wonderful the weather is today. Like it's raining, but it's like cool, and not yeah, like, like a downpour. Eighty something. Probably eighty-two. Yeah, it's uh, like very nice compared to what it's been. <laughs> So Sarah and I were just talking about how insane it is, and it's like eight o'clock right now, and it's this sunny out. And with that, I was like, "Hey, Sarah, well, like, remember in Chicago like, at my birthday, it's like blackout at three thirty, like four and a half hours ago." So just uh -huh. enjoying like the summer in Florida ness of the sun being out all the time. Right, and being able to come here after work and to like still have like a vibe, gusto, and livelihood. Yeah. And it does get darker earlier here in the winter. Yeah. So not there is that, early. right, not that early, but the summer, like peak summer sunshine, I'll especially take it when there's cloud coverage and it's <laughs> not 100 degrees. Look at that right there. Additional support beams gonna go in World Showcase Lagoon for the next show. Can't wait. What's it gonna be? Who I'll knows? I'm gonna picture here because we're not at the best view, but there are like serious beams in the water. Yeah. Looking like. Looking like magic's gonna be exploding in the middle of that lagoon. Yeah. 
I'm hopeful that they're going to come back with a, a revitalized uh, illuminations. They reconstructed the globe with brand new LEDs, and yeah. it's going to be wonderful. I don't know if it'll be as intense as the harmonious thing. People. No, it's going to be uh, illuminations. It's, right, but I'm saying like the like the structure. Yeah, I think they're gonna put uh, something in the middle, but I think it's gonna be movable. Like, I think it's gonna be like Illuminations World will remove during the day, come out at night. Oh, food and wine, food and wine. It's too close, I can't sing it without it actually being here. Uh, what is the actual date? You just said July 27th. I said it? You said that, so did you uh -huh. make that up? I might have. <laughs> we showed these in progress. Over the weekend, I think this one was like mapped out. But here it is all finished. So beautiful. Can you see the doors? James's new favorite thing has been to have the dwarfs with him, and he's been singing hi ho, hi ho. We got these, Sarah, we were trying to figure it out. We thought they were really old, but we think Sarah got them at a benefit that we, that we had for Sarah's dad, yeah, like, like a couple months after he passed. Right, for like our family people like had a benefit for us. And there was a silent auction and someone like want, like made a Snow White basket. basket. Snow White was my dad's favorite. They got it and they gave it to me. So I, it had all the, I think it had all the dress and like. So of course the boys have been playing with it and now yeah. James has been like fixated on them for like a week now. He walks around carrying all seven of them. So we had to stop and show them the dwarfs. Hi ho, hi ho. Who's over there? Who are we missing? <gasps> Topi and Snow White? Let's go see. I'm glad these aren't gone yet. Yeah. Topi! They're cute. I like the flowers with them too. Yeah. You know who would have loved this? My mother. Your mother. Look at these kids just having some seaweed snacks in the American Pavilion. Mm. If you couldn't tell the vibe of the night is chill. It's 8.20. I don't even know if we'll make it in every pavilion. Ooh, we were supposed to get Club Cool though. We were supposed to do that first. We were supposed to do that very first. That's the face of a Brookhart who's realized they might miss out on Club Cool. <laughs> we can So should we're like we're so far from it right now. Should we We're literally the farthest. Should we finish well we talked about going on a Grand Fiesta tour too, so should we like bypass like, the rest of the countries? And then go to Club Cool and then maybe Grand Fiesta tour before like watch it from the front? Yeah. Well this is the other thing. The longer waits, like frozen and Remy's are like slowly going down. Like Remy's is 45. I wish I wish Club Cool was open till 10. You wanna know what I wish they did? Something where you could like take a time where you say like I'm gonna come back to this ride in two hours and like not have to wait in a long line and it was like free and Sarah, that's ingenious. I know. And then you wouldn't have to really wait in line, but you wait. But like you would go there and like scan your It'd be ticket. Like a pass. To the and you would like get a piece of paper printed out? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like that would be perfect for us right now? What's his name? Mike Eisner? We should go tell Mike Eisner about this. Oh, he's happy. He's ready for some club cool. He's happy. He's ready for some club cool. You saw Hey Hey? James now knows because of me that he has to check the color of the cup before he drinks anything. James, that's the Moldova. Is that good? And at 9 o'clock exactly? We did it. We made it to Frozen Ever After. All right, we've been in line for like five minutes, and we're already on the side of Oaken's. Teddy is starting to shut down. He had a burst of energy, and then he's like, "All right, I'm tired." But it's looking like it'll be a ten-minute wait for us, which would be great. We could even catch the finale potentially of the fireworks.
spot on James was where my hand was like on his chest. He got obliterated by a wave that I've never seen happen before and froze never after. <laughs> but he liked it, right? A little three caballeros action since we can't go on Grand Fiesta Tour right now. So I wanted to show this. It's not quite an Earhart loop, which is a classic lap around World Showcase when it after close. But after we went on Frozen Never After and changed the kids in the bathroom right there at Norway, we have like a, a partial two pavilion, empty world showcase walk. Yeah. We could have tried to go. There. We could have that tried. Lightning? That was lightning. But we like we want to have a fun weekend. We don't want to get home too too late. And that would be like it's like it's not a mile. I think it's a mile all the way around. A mile all the way around. So like. It would have significantly added time. That yeah, would have added like 20 minutes, which would have been nice. Some days, you know, but, is, is warranted, but this was still a little At some point, they cut you off where like they wouldn't let you pass, I think, I the like China at Pavilion. Sometimes, like, they might be more lenient. But, and then you could like fib and be like, I'm actually staying at Boardwalk because I need to get through and then hope they let you through and then when you get to Boardwalk, they're like, I actually parked in the front, sorry. <laughs> what a grand and miraculous view on the walk out. It's like the perfect kiss goodbye. Yeah. We really, one day, now that we live here again, need to come to the front and just watch all the different shows. Because yeah. <laughs> that's something we've never done. Because we're just too darn obsessed with World Showcase. It's not, it's not a bad problem. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>